Welcome to VNTV, I'm Alexander Nguyen. As you know, Independence Day celebration is coming up and one of the biggest 4th of July parade is in Mira Mesa with more than 40 units. With me today is Kanchan, Farkia and Pam Stevens, the group behind the Mira Mesa festivities. Welcome, tell us, what's, uh, tell us about your group and uh, what do you guys do? I'm Pam Stevens with the Mira Mesa Town Council and we are a nonprofit volunteer group that does things to make Mira Mesa a better place to live and one of them is 4th of July. And my name is Kanchan Farkia and I'm also from Mira Mesa Town Council. Okay, and tell me again, what does the Mira Mesa Town Council do? We're uh, a group that has monthly meetings to connect people with their elected leaders and we put on events such as the 4th of July celebration and the street fair that uh, are the two big things that people gather together for. Okay, now the 4th of July is coming up, so tell me more about that. What exactly does the Mira Mesa Council do, Town Council do and what exactly is happening at the 4th of July? 4th of July starts with a pancake breakfast from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Wow. at the Senior Center. Yeah, so the Mira Mesa Town Council uh, we really want to hear voice and strength from the community because the uh, Mira Mesa is the biggest community in San Diego. Yeah, with about 80,000 uh, people living there, correct? Yes. Okay. So how do you reach out to these uh, community members? So we, we are uh, a volunteer nonprofit organization. It's uh, everybody is welcome who are living in Mira Mesa community and even outside of the community. Um, only the thing is like they are the non-voting associate members. They can't vote. Oh, if they're outside living. of the Mira Mesa? Yes. Okay. So if you're living in Mira Mesa, you can become a member and vote on what's happening in the, in the town council and also within the district, correct? Yes. Okay. And tell me, how do people become a member? Uh, so we, um, it's online. Everything is online. Okay. We have a uh, miramesatowncouncil.org. Okay. Once again, that's uh, miramesatowncouncil.org. That's can you spell that for us? Yeah, it's miramesatowncouncil.org. Okay. M i r a m e s a t o w n c o u n c i l dot o r g dot <laughs> org and of course uh it'll be on the screen so you can actually uh, visit there and you can become a member that way correct yes is there any membership fees or dues to become a member yeah it's a minimum fees uh everybody can do it it's dollar 20 and if you have a, a sibling or you have somebody uh, with your family it's a dollar 10 and for the business um organization it is a dollar 30 or 40? It's well, 40, it, right? Yeah, actually it, it's uh, $20 per year okay. for the first member in a family, $10 per year for the second member in a family, and if you are a business or a nonprofit group, $50 per year, and that gets a $50 discount on participating in the street fair and a link to your company or nonprofit group website. Okay, and then getting back to the 4th of July, because that's coming up real soon. So you mentioned the uh, pancake breakfast, but what else is coming? Uh, what else is there to do uh, at the celebration? The parade is a big part of the event. Mm -hmm. It starts at 11.30 a.m. from the Seafood City Shopping Center, goes down Mira Mesa Boulevard from Greenford and Mira Mesa to Camino Ruiz, turns on Camino Ruiz, and ends at New Salem. It's in, at the Mira Mesa Community Park, uh, which is right across from Mira Mesa High School. Is that correct? The parade officially ends at the intersection of New Salem and Camino Ruiz, and people can continue on foot into the park to uh, go enjoy fun day. Now, uh, speaking of the park and the fun day, I know that you know after the parade, there's a lot of things going on the fun day in the park. So can you tell me more about that? So um, I want to add that like there is a best float contest and we are giving the dollar 200 cash price oh 200 dollars cash price for the best float so yeah i mean what what other criteria is for the best float uh it's everything is online listed um it should be for more about safety and you can decorate in the way you want mm -hmm. it's more um patriotic feelings okay so um, uh, speaking of patriotic feelings i know each year there's like a theme so what's this year's theme 
This year's theme is Saluting Our Heroes. <laughs> Which is great because Mira Mesa is right there, right next to Miramar. So it's, mm -hmm. it's very much a uh, you know, military town, is that right? Yeah. Uh, that's one of the major influences. It's also very much a family town. And this year our Grand Marshal is both. He's the commanding officer of MCAS Miramar okay. and his son just finished eighth grade at Wagenheim Middle <laughs> School. <laughs> Which is a uh, school in Mira Mesa, right? In Mira Mesa. Correct. And now, after that, is there a fireworks celebration in Mira Mesa, or is it just uh, the parade plus the fun day, is that it? There is definitely a fireworks celebration. Our Scripps Mesa Fireworks, a nonprofit group composed of people from Mira Mesa and Scripps Ranch, raises the money to put on the fireworks celebration, and it's set off at 9 p.m. from Mira Mesa Community Park. And anybody can donate to make uh, the fireworks happen because uh, it's put together from contributions large and small. So you guys receive no public funding for this at all? It's all through donations and private funding? It yeah. is. Okay. And so how do people um, help with this? How do people contribute to the fireworks? Go to scriptsmesafireworks.org. <laughs> <laughs> and all right. uh, also, um, on July 3rd, the night before the 4th of July, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in front of Grocery Outlet in Mira Mesa, volunteers will be taking donations and have available t-shirts designed by an elementary school student at Hickman Elementary, this year's t-shirt contest. Mm -hmm. And there will also be volunteers along the parade route near Carl's Jr. on Camino Ruiz. So uh, to, you can so get your t-shirts to wear. Okay, and can you do also at the park as well? Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll find we'll, out we'll later. We'll find out later about now, it. Uh, yes. Now, speaking of the park, um, what what is going on at the fun day of the park? Because it sounds, really, I mean, it's called fun day of the park, so it should be really fun. So what's, what's, what's there? Uh, there, in many ways, yeah. it's it's a big community picnic. Yeah, uh, it's like a vendors, entertainment, music, okay. and a kids zone area. All those oh. and sponsors are. Too. So tell me about the kids zone area. Uh, what 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 what's going on there? It's games for kids. Mm -hmm. There are there are bounce houses and there are carnival style games for kids, and there are interactive shows for parents and kids to enjoy together. In the evening, as the fireworks draw near, there will be a USO type show with big band tunes about 8 o'clock or so uh -huh. uh, for people to watch as they're reassembling for the fireworks at 9. So what I'm hearing is there's about two stage of entertainment, correct? Like one in the kids zone and one in the main, uh, in the main area? Uh, this year, it's, it's the only stage is in the kids zone area. Okay. It's, there, are, there will be an opportunity for people to visit the vendors and buy some food. There will be lumpia at the 4th of <laughs> July in Mira Mesa. There always is. Okay. And it's uh, a chance to uh, find out some interesting things. One event that will be in the parade, there is a, uh, a patriotic memorial pickup truck that you can see up close and personal at Fun Day. Uh, Warrior Passion is the group and, and uh, sounds like something interesting to take a look at. Yeah, because I remember uh, this year just a couple of months ago, uh, they dedicated the, the Vietnam War Memorial in front of the uh, Senior Center, is that right? The, uh, it, it's the, the, uh, the, the Mira Mesa Veterans Memorial. Oh, Veterans right. Memorial, yeah, not, okay. Not Vietnam by itself, but all veterans, and it's, it's for, yeah, it's for, got uh, yeah. dedicated on Memorial Day. That's, yeah, and you know, um, Mira Mesa is, has always been a military town because it's so close to the base. So, you know, the celebration, and I, I really like the fact that the marshal is a MCAS Miramar commander, right? Yes, he is. Yeah, and his kids goes to Mira Mesa High School, I mean Mira Mesa School, so that's great. So again, um, uh, Mira Mesa fireworks is happening at 9.30, before that there 9 p.m. Oh, uh, 9 p.m., sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Before that, there is the pancake breakfast at the Mira Mesa Senior Center, and then the parade starts at 11.30 and ends around the park at Mira Mesa Community Park, roughly around there. 
Right, about one o'clock. And mm -hmm. there is also a midday ice cream social at the <laughs> Senior Center that uh, is, is something to enjoy. And mainly it's a time for family and friends to celebrate together. And uh, lots of groups in the parade. VIA will be participating yeah. in the parade. Vietnamese American Youth Alliance. Yep, the group that puts on the annual tech festival, also in Mira Mesa. <laughs> so, uh, you know what, that's a lot of things is happening in Mira Mesa on 4th of July, so come out and visit and have fun. And anything else you want to add? Yeah, um, we also going to have a Mira Mesa street fair that is going to be in October 6th. October 6th, Mira, so like that's part of the Mira Mesa Town Council events uh, throughout the year, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so we sponsor that event too. Okay, and then where is that uh, held? Um, it's going to be in the, Mir um, in the Mira Mesa Boulevard, right? Uh, it's uh, on uh, Camino, Ruiz Camino Ruiz between Mira Mesa Boulevard and New Salem Street. So you shut down the whole entire street and it's an entire day where people can just come out and have fun. Exactly, <laughs> it's a wonderful time and street fair, the uh, applications to be a performer or to be a vendor at Street Fair are on the Mira Mesa Town Council <laughs> website now. So as we're looking forward to celebrating 4th of July, Street Fair planning's now underway <laughs> and mark your calendar for that one. <laughs> so, you know, it's never ending all the work, the community work, right? It's year round. It is. Yeah, mm -hmm. and anybody can participate, uh, music band or dance group. Mm -hmm. we, have, we will have a two stages and the application for the vendors and for performers they are online online now yes right. it is online so visit miramesatowncouncil.org to find out more about the Mira Mesa street fair as well as the fourth of july celebration thank you for joining us here today anything else you want to add yeah so be the change you want to see in the world let's join us today to create a fabulous tomorrow all right, well, thank you for watching. I'm Alexander Wynn with VNTV. We'll join us next time. Thank you.